Now I know you're not a man that holds back without sharing your unanimous knowledge, man. So here, me wanted to dive straight into it. Hit me with this Roblox thing, this craze that kids are all jumping all over and down. It seems to have the world by some crazy force out there. Force, take me, take me, take me. What's the scoop on this Roblox thing? Oh, Is it worry, really Chef. big? Chef. Is it big? Help oh, me understand. It's not big, mate. It's absolutely humongous. Whoa. You've come to the right man because I, I have everything about yeah. Roblox. Yeah. It's like a digital platform. It lets your imaginations run wild. It lets you. It's like a canvas to let your imaginations expand. One second. Slip it back into first gear. What is this whole digital platform thing? What is this digital platform? Do you mean like online? Is that what you mean? I mean online. I mean like it's like a, a playground for many kids to be pixel pioneers, if you wish. But you did say imagination. I like the sound of that, but it's got me a little bit thinking. You know, it, is it like a digital flashback to the time when, you know, when you and I kind of built tree houses with old bed sheets no, and we kind of swung you're around? There. You're there, but you're not there, mate. Yeah. It's, like, it's like that, but with fewer mm. chances of mm. gravity betraying us and more chances of belly laughs. Really? Roblox lets users become the architects of their mm. digital dreams, crafting and shaping their worlds. Simplify it, because I'm a little bit dummy dumb. What is Roblox? Break it down for me. Make it easy. What is it? Well, so website, characters, watch. people got bish bish bish. You know, in my day, we used to have Street Fighter. Shaq, I don't care what you had in your day, okay? Oh. Just kidding, mate. So it's kind of like a website yeah. where you go onto it, log on, do everything you want, and you get just a bunch of games. And I guess you can play with other friends. Really? So how do you spell it? Sometimes I'm mistaken it for Roblox. Like road blocks, but it's spelled R O B L O X. So a little bit like Cam's Road outside. No, it won't be. So it's like a paradise for game designers, just without a fancy holiday. A fancy holiday I can do so without the beach hat and a tall glass of pina colada. Yeah, no, nah, not a fancy holiday, Shaq. But it is a Michelangelo. Yeah. Building virtual wonders, if you wish. Yeah. Or a game maestro. Scripting adventures that unfold into a pixelated cause. But what if I just want to play games? Not to build them. Do I have to build them or can I just yeah, play? Yeah, amigo. Roblox is the one for you. You yeah. don't have to create the games. There's loads of creative games already. Stuff like action. Action? Seriously? Action? It's got action in it. I like it. Theme park adventures. Yeah. Gotcha. I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get this whole Roblox thingamajiggy thing. Now spill the beans on this block fruit oh, thing. Oh, mate. Blocks root named after the magic they bring. It's like the James Bond of the Roblox world. Yeah. Serious, supernatural, and a total game changer. Really? It sounds like a complex gig. Is it shaken and stirred? Uh -huh, mate. Like James Bond? Dead simple, mate. Really? Dead simple. Not Dead confusing simple. at all. Players explore the islands, duke out with enemies, snag superpowers with these converted fruits. Whoa, man, this sounds cool. And with various game modes, oh. it's a challenge for players and all oh. stripes. Oh, I like the sound of that. It's all pixelated power fest of Roblox and all that sort of stuff, where every punch packs a virtual punch. Get me onto this Roblox thing. How do I get onto it? Well, you got it, Shaq. I got it. You just need to suck your teeth, sunk your teeth, sink your teeth. I'm sinking. I'm sinking my oh, teeth. Mate, I'm gritting my teeth. teeth into one of these fruity wonders. I don't have one of those fruity, but, but lay on me. What do they actually do? How does this all sort of come together? Each fruit, once yeah. about, you got an apple there in your hand, right? Nice, yeah. big, juicy, red, Granny Smith. Yeah. Granny Smith, the green apple. You take a bite of it. Yum, yum, so you got yum. Granny Smiths in this game? Not Granny Smiths. But you're saying it's a concept. I'm giving you the concept. You bite uh, the apple. Yeah. And all of a Whoa. sudden, you turn into the Flash. Whoa. You get all these superpowers. Whoa, superpowers. Can I get one that turns me into like a master of cracking jokes and being silly? Like a silly billy. Shaq, not yet. Ooh. That's still in the workshop. That will be made soon. Wow, Roblox. But here's the scheme, the thing. Trade your swimming skills for yeah. these powers because yeah. uh, you stay in the water for too long and you'll uh, die. So where's all these treasure troves of block fruits? Where are they kept? It's an adventure, Shaq. You can snag them by causing a chaos in a factory raid. Defending a castle from pirates, yeah. or being the pirate who deals the first blow. It's like a fruity showdown. Really? Fruity showdown, fruity showdown, fruity showdown. Yeah. 
It's like a fruity showdown. Like us. Like us every Sundays on a six to eight show. Well, not that sort of fruity showdown. So it's like a fruity spawn thing. What? Hourly? Well, how does it go? Uh, a fruit spawn hourly or on weekends. But if you're feeling lazy, go to the Brock's Fruit Gacha or you can go to the Brock's Fruit Dealer or you can use our life spendings and buy just one by your money, which I would not recommend doing. Yeah. That's it. So you can like roll the dice and get anything else and that sort of stuff, right? You can. Gacha. Do it by the Roblox Gacha. Yeah. But that is really risky as you could just get chucked out with the worst fruit in the game. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So, to be honest, there's really loads of quirky ways. Trade fruits. Well, you can trade fruits at the cafe, the museum, the mansion, or you can just grab a permanent fruit from that in-game shop, or maybe get gifted one by a generous pal. So I've got it. We've got Roblox, we've got a platform, people can log on, you've got characters, your favourite fruit is block fruits, you eat the fruits, superpowers, I get it. Yeah. Any pitfalls? Are there any pitfalls? Steer clear of dropping Robux into the game. Now, if you guys don't know what Robux is... What is Robux? Explain it to us. All right, Shaq. Robux is basically the currency of Roblox. So this in-game currency. We have Australian dollars. They have Robux. And you spend your Australian dollars to buy those Robux to get stuff in-game. In reality, most of the stuff is obtainable without using your money. And you can just... Keep playing, and soon enough you will get the item. So don't put your money in. I got it. I, I got it. I think I've actually worked it. I'm catching on. This could become my new addiction. I like the sound of that. You know what this addiction is like? What? A little bit like my wife's banana cake. It's delicious, and it's got loads of fruits in it, and so all that sort of stuff. Mm. So how do I snag these fruits while navigating the game? The game. Great question, Shag. Let's unravel the mystery of the blocks fruit. It's really not that suspenseful, but just thought I'd make it. While, tra while traveling in the digital landscapes of Blocks Fruits, you can either cause heat in a factory raid, and the player dealing the most damage in there gets rewarded with a beautiful fruit. It is pretty hard to do though. I like the sound of that. You know what this is? What? My surprised, good, happy look. It's all making sense to me. So, I've got a fruity ba battleground, and you mentioned something about maritime adventures. Ah, Explain the that. I see adventures, Shaq. Defend the castle from pirates, deliver the knockout, and the last man standing gets rewarded with a beautiful fruit. So you got pirates, castles, fruity conquests, and treating any other daring exploits. Indeed. Take on the brigade during the ship raid. Whoa, this you is getting may... complicated. There's now a ship raid? You may score a fruit, Shaq, although the odds are a bit on the wild side. It's a digital gamble on high seas. Got it. Ship raids, naval odds, a risky bit of fruity adventure. Now, what about those who prefer a little bit more of a, a calm, relaxed, the sit back, back the laid back, the leisurely approach? Right. What do they need to do? Hourly fruit spawns. That's it. Seriously? Simply, during weekends, every 45 minutes, offer a chance to encounter a fruit around the world. It's like a delightful stroll through the digital orchid. So timey fruit spawns, you've got a refreshing digital market stroll, and then for those with a taste for risk, you've got, what, a bit of uncertainty? Mm, those feelings, the, the feeling lucky can try their fate with the Blocks Fruit de Dealer. That's another way to get it, or spin with a Blocks Fruit Gacha. Although you are risking all of your money and basically throwing it in the bin to get nothing in return. Wow. That sounds complicated. As a my digital compadre, I am delving deep into the Blocks Fruit Saga. What about these dropped fruits? Do they vanish into the virtual abyss somewhere? Fear not, Shaq. They will not pull a Houdini out and just disappear on you. Unless, unless. Unless what? Unless like uh, unless someone comes and... into the sea. Oh, really? Yeah. Or you get killed with having the fruit. Because basically, if you get killed or drop it into the sea... Yeah. You just lose it completely, gone. So, so it's like an orchard of perpetual abundance intriguing. I like that. And once a player claims the fruit, can they just toss it aside if they fancy a change? Not quite, Shaq. Once a player adds it to a collection or stores the fruit, you cannot give it to anyone else. Oh, wow. They either have to eat it or trade it. That's I like it. the sound of it. It's like a lifelong commitment to digital fruit pals. Fascinating. What about those that want to sprinkle some Robux onto their fruity oh, collection? Land. See, I'm picking Robux. this up. I'm getting the hang of it. Fruit snagged with Robux are forever held and can be consumed from either the Blocks Fruit dealer or the menu. Either or. But 
They are quite pricey, ranging from $1 all the way to $30. $30 sounds like a good old steal. Daylight robbery, I'd say. Oh, mate. Those for not wanting their fruit, there's a remove blocks fruit NPC located in the prison of the first sea, under the castle, or down in that castle down there in the third sea. Don't worry about that, getting into being too complicated. But it isn't worth it as they only give you $50,000 for it. In reality, they're worth a lot more. An NPC for fruit liberation, that's what I say. It's like a curious twist, isn't it? Curious twist, indeed he do. There you have it, folks. Block fruit. I've been schooled by Azza. Nothing comes close to Azza's wisdom in the unknown. Pleasure's all mine. Fancy a kebab? Greasy fingers and Roblox. No, I don't, mate. How about a bit of Town Call Malice by the Jam? All right, mate. Let's finish it off with a bit of that. Sit back, relax. Thank you so much, Az, for enlightening us with Roblox. No worries, mate. Anytime. Call Blimey next week? No worries.